Residents of Lagos, Abuja and other major cities across the country are still facing tough times sourcing for premium motor spirits popularly called Petro. The development comes following the importation and supply of a wrong specification of petrol in some parts of the country, which has disrupted the fuel supply system and leading to long queues nationwide. A correspondent, Majisela Matami, tells us more in this report. It's been one week since the first scarcity that eats Lagos, Abuja and other cities across the country started. And sadly, the situation has not gotten any better as Nigerians still continue to queue for long hours to get fuel at petrol stations. The long queues and filling stations triggered by scarcity of unadulterated petrol seem not to be abating anytime soon. Only a week ago, the managing director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, Melekiari, named four companies as responsible for the importation of millions of liters of methanol laden petrol. Government's recall of the bad fuel led to long queues and an obvious scarcity of the product. This is a very unfortunate situation. We apologize to Nigerians for this situation. However, we assure Nigerians that we are currently sourcing additional cargoes to ensure product sufficient and we do not see any danger or any supply disruption in this situation. In Bagada, a suburb in Lagos, the commercial hub of the country, both public and private motorists have thronged filling stations hoping to purchase petrol. While some filling stations were closed due to unavailability of petrol, a handful which had in stock were crowded with queues extending to the major road leading to traffic buildup. Sellers of black market petrol took advantage of the scarcity to sell by the roadside. While filling station owners have denied increasing the price of petrol, motorists say the scarcity has caused untold hardship. What we are facing now is quite unfortunate, very, very embarrassing. We didn't find for anywhere. I was like going on my own and I, my fuel finished. I have to park queue over three hours now. I've been here. No fuel. Really, they are selling here. But the crowd of people that want to buy, they are more than... The, 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 the fuel inside. So they are selling control price here, really. I've bought a uh, five liter of 3,000 naira today. That was why I have to make it a necessity to be staying here and queue to get my fuel. It's not getting worse day by day because there's no improvement. Since we can't get fuel at our own convenient time, I don't think there's any improvement on it for now. Every day is getting worse. See, you can see how we will queue now. As of last week, there are some flea station where you enter, you buy, or you go. You spend like uh, 10 minutes. And like this week now, you can see the whole thing is, is getting worse. It causes traffic on the major road. We come uh, and queue for long, like one hour, 30 minutes before you get to your town. The scarcity has also led to the hike in the price of transportation and in some routes more than doubled its previous price. It's very, very high, very, very high, very, very high. Where you are entering, you enter a bus from one place to another 200 naira before, it's now 350, 400. The Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority has said for every 200 liters of the adulterated products, 800 liters of petrol with good quality would be required for the blending to be done. Experts have also estimated that it may cost the government at least 201 billion naira to achieve this. Mujisola Matomi, TV360, Lagos.